Hey guys, Shenan's here, and I'm here playing Roommates. Um, yeah, so I actually played through this visual novel one time, and we're gonna just try and see how it is. If I get a good response, then I'll continue. If, if not, then I'll move on. We'll just see. Oh, I just squeaked a little. So... In case you guys didn't know, I am actually a boy. No, a girl. Uh, so, it kind of gives like a little synopsis for this character already. Um, hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my things. Um, basically, if you click Max, we'll go over his real quick. Max's plan is to stay in school long enough to save up enough money through part-time jobs to get by without his parents' financial support, then drop out and start... Uh, pop rock band whereas Anne thinks that college could be a fresh start and she needs to break out of her shell her goal is to make up at least make at least three new friends while keeping her grades up we're gonna be Anne because we're girls well I I'm a girl at least um maybe we can play his another time but that's if we get a good response but um so I'm just gonna choose normal because it's fairly easy to get the stats to win the game uh, or get the good ending so I'm just doing that all right uh, college a glorious new world filled to the brim with opportunities for education community service and networking oh and also absolutely so shakingly terrifying the population of my hometown is around 5,000 until now the farthest I've been from home is 10 miles and that was a st to stay with my grandparents while our house was getting fumigated I have a hard time looking strangers in the eye let alone talking to them me you may wonder what a shy small town girl like me is doing at Liberty University the third largest school in the state I'm starting to wonder that myself. I thought I wanted to get out of my comfort zone, but this might be too much. As I walk down the street, I feel like everyone is staring at me. Okay, deep breaths. Relax. Smile naturally when you make eye contact. It's only a short distance to the place I'll be staying for the rest of the life. Heh <laughs> Rest of the life. I meant to say rest of my life. Oh well. It's not even the word, so it's good. I'm living in a house on on campus it's a little more expensive but most of my tuition is covered through scholarships anyway and dorm living sounds loud and chaotic and the opposite of what i want same girl i think it'll be worth the investment are you in a cute well-dressed young man stands at the door of my house holding a bundle of papers in his hand this must be my ra deep breaths y yes my name is Dominic. I'm the RA for the Land House. Hi, I'm Anne. Come on in, have a seat. I'll start the orientation in a few minutes. Uh, thank you. I'm trying not to think about how often I'm looking at the floor. Just another thing to work on this year. The scroll is like my spirit animal, besides like the whole reading thing. I actually never read, as horrible as that is. Um,. But yeah, continuing on. I'm about to step inside when, wham, I'm knocked on the ground by someone barreling past me. Whoops, sorry. She keeps running into the house. Hey, Isabel, I can't believe she just... He gives me a look of concern and holds out his hand. His face, though. His face, though. Um, I, I'm so sorry. That was incredibly rude of her. Are you alright? Can you stand? Uh, I think so. I take his hand and try to stand up. Giggity. Uh, <laughs> I didn't twist my ankle, but that still kind of hurt. I'm... Oh, I didn't twist my ankle, but... Oh, whatever. Uh, I'm having a hard time trying... Time thinking of anything that would have justified running that fast. Let alone not having the time to stop and apologize. Uh, uh is everyone in the house like this? Oh, not at all. He hesitates. <laughs> He's lying on his butt. Well, everyone has their eccentricities. I said that right, I think. Um, but they're not all like Isabella. Uh, I swear, I would have quit this giggle ages ago if they were. He, <laughs> he 
he gives me a reassuring smile. I want to make sure everyone here is living, has a good living experience. So if anything's bothering you, just come back to come talk to me. Thank you again. Um, I'm glad that there's at least one person here I can talk to. Dominic seems very kind. I am crap at guys' voices. I don't. I don't know if it's because I feel like I'm starting to get sick, or if I'm just really that crap. Oh, okay. I was like looking for my water just in case I needed it, and I had another water bottle sitting next to me, and it was already drank out of, and I was pretty sure it was new, and I was right. It's over there. Anyway, moving on. Finally, I enter the house, and I'll be calling home for the next year. The first floor is huge. I can immediately see an oversized couch facing a nice big screen TV. There's also some kind of breakfast nook with a little with a big table in an area with several bookshelves surrounding a bunch of comfortable looking chairs. I sit on the couch and take a book out of my purse. I love books of all flavors because they all taste delicious. At the moment I've got a rather promising fantasy novel to start. Before I can get too far into the story though, oh gosh that was horrible reading right there. Good job Shannon. Uh, Dominic comes back with a young man with spiked hair swaggering in after him. Tall, handsome, bad boy vibe. The kind of boy my parents always warned me about. Uh, despite not actually having someone in a 70 mile radius. Um, even though even when they're standing next to each other, he and Dominic seem like they're from parallel worlds. Sup. Wait, no. He, ha he has to need... Yo, sup, I'm Max. Oh my god, no. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> I don't, I'm bad at guys' voices, and there's still one more. Um. Hmm. Sup, I'm Max. And... Just as I thought, it's hard to look him in the eye because I have a problem with that. I actually have a problem with that in real life too though, like where I, I don't feel comfortable staring in people's eyes. I also don't feel comfortable when they get really, really awkwardly close to me, but at least I maintained eye contact for a moment. <laughs> Same. Hey, no need to be shy. Anyone sitting here. <clears throat> Why don't you take your seat next over there? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Dominic's voice. I don't want to pursue him just for the pure fact I made his voice horrible. Um, as I get more practice with this, it'll get better. But as of right now, it's kind of crap. Sorry if you heard that. I was moving the mic closer to my mouth. Because I moved it away when I was trying to like figure out Max's voice. Anyway, uh, Dominic points to the opposite end of the couch. What? Can't I sit next to her? It's better that you both have more space. Jealous already. Bull, you just want to have her to your si uh, Dominic, Dominic slams a packet of papers in front of Max with surprising force. Here are the house rules. He walks over to me and hands me a packet as well, more delicately. I guess Max just irritates him. Yeah, that's it. Let's go over them together. And would you like to take? Would you like to start? Uh, okay. Um. One, there shall be no consumption, storage, or sale of alcoholic beverages or illegal drugs in the housing area, nor shall any underage person be in the housing area while under the influence of the afore aforementioned substances. Students found in violation of this regulation are subject to dismissal from the housing area and remittance, remittance on unused rent. Uh, under the terms of the contract. I have never touched a drop of liquor in my life. I shouldn't have to worry about this role. Also same. That was like before I turned 21. That was literally me. Um, two. There shall be no pets housed in or around the building. That's too bad. A hamster would have been nice. Uh, oh well. I probably should concentrate on school anyway. I'll go next. Three. The sidewalk entries and stairwells of this building shall not be obstructed or used for any purpose than for entering and exiting the respective areas of the house. 4. No student shall interfere in any matter with any per any portion of the heating and lighting ap apparatus or fire protection equipment in or about the house. I don't know why I said real bad. There will be no flammable <laughs> materials or explosive 
st explosive sword in our about the housing area. Uh, his voice is just so bad. I he doesn't even look like he has that deep of a voice. He's just like very serious. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I would like try and mess around to see what I can get for his voice. <gasps> Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Blatantly causing fire hazards? They only put rolls in here after someone's done something dumb. I'm really having second thoughts about this place. Okay, this is very funny that I saw this in this game before because when I went to a branch campus for my university, I, um, <laughs> my one friend, he was, he was the mascot for the weekend and like greeting new students and stuff and he read the like agreement they have to sign and one of them was there was a couple that were like very extreme and very funny like one of them was no running up and hugging kids without their consent or something and they're like because they would scare them or something like that another thing was do not take your head off in public uh or until given permission to or something like that um there's another one we had a pond that like I, I guess this happened in the winter time but there was a pond at our school and the, in the rules it said do not go onto the ice at, or do not go into the pond as the mascot and I was just like who does that like some of the things it's like okay well someone had to have done it um but anyway continuing on no, Max. Now, Max, what? Read the next two. Oh, God. <laughs> His voice. It's like half girl, half boy. I don't even know. Um, read the next two what? Read the next two rules, please. He sounds like an old man. I can't. I can't. I can't figure out what to do. In case you haven't known, I have not done voices in a while uh, my friends and i have another channel called galentine games where uh, we play visual visual novels and we record them and we record them together and just kind of having fun like nothing serious or anything um but it would be fun if we could but we are about to record again in a couple weeks i think next week actually we're gonna record again and the reason we hadn't been recording for a while is because we had a couple like issues with um our like software or like we were using OBS and it just didn't record right or like one of our microphones wasn't recording it was like very very weird and so we kind of got like a little discouraged and then we just didn't hang out for a while because of life and but now we're doing better at hanging out so more to come on Galentine's games. Um, probably link it down below in, in case you guys are interested. Uh, but yeah, so oh, we played Five Nights at Freddy's and I screamed like a little girl the whole time. Anyway, uh, well, since you asked so nicely, five students shall not play musical equipment or instruments at such hours and at such volume to disturb other students in the dormitories. Well, that's good. I hate when my sleep schedule gets interrupted. Six. There will be no firearms or weapons permitted. Oh my gosh, what happened? <laughs> there will be no firearms or weapons permitted in or about the housing area. His voice just... They're both just horrible. It is vital... It is vital, vital to Dominic that his iron-fisted rule over the populace of this household be lasting and eternal, such that any rebellion can be crushed within a moment's notice. Ha ha, ha ha, very funny. Read it properly. Hey man, I'm just reading what's on the paper. I read rule number six. Oh wow, that is actually kind of amusing. Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Isabella! I didn't want to like scream that because the microphone is like an inch from my face. Um, Dominic jumps everything and tears up the stairs with the speed of an angry bull. Isabella, as in Isabella that bummed me earlier? 
She may have been rude, but I can't help but admire the sheer audacity it must have taken to edit the roll sheet right under Dominic's nose. I wish I could be half as fearless as that. Oh, it's okay, girl. She'll, like, hit on you for, like, the whole thing. Um, oh, and I'm pretty sure that if you're a girl, you can hit on the girls and date the girls. And if you're a guy, I, like, the same thing. But I feel like if I was Max, I would not try to date Dominic. I've never played his route, so, like, um, I've never played with Max, so I don't know if it's different? I don't know. Anyway, um, Domino left so fast he dropped our keys. Max stands up, tosses me mine, and I manage to catch it. Well, I'm gonna go bring in my gear from the tour of the rest of this place. You coming? Uh, should we explore with him or walk around by myself? We're gonna just explore with Max, because I don't think it costs any energy right now. Well, I did want to be more social. At the same time, I have no idea why he'd want me to come along when we were complete strangers. Well, why me? I was just thinking it'd be easier if I introduced you to everyone, because you seem kind of shy. Really? What? I'm a nice guy. Yes, Max, you are a nice guy. I can't help but laugh, though I immediately feel bad about it. Luckily, Max is grinning, so I don't think it really hurt his feelings. Okay, I'll choose to believe you. Huh? I mean, I, I'll come with you. And we got a relationship. So I've actually done his route. Um, he's the only route I've ever done on this game. But I don't know if I'm going to do his or someone else's this time. Shoots me a gratified grin. That's the spirit. Come meet me in my room once you're done unpacking, alright? Alright, <laughs> you hot. I bring my luggage up to my room. I have no idea what to pack for a year away from home, so I brought as much as I could. Also same. Uh, all of my clothes, old notebooks, old scrapbooks, a microwave, my favorite tea mug, my favorite my favorite tea, my favorite tea strainer, and this sounds like Lydia, <laughs> girl, <laughs> an iron board, uh, my sewing machine, my sewing kit, my bin of yarn and knitting needles, the pillows I made in the sixth grade, the ne the needle point I made in the seventh grade, and picture. Oh, Okay, this sounds like me now. Pictures of my grandparents, parents, and extended family, my laptop, my ho basically everything. Max saunters into my room. I must have taken longer to unpack than I thought. Wow, restraint's really not your thing, is it? I, I suppose I might have overdone it a little. Uh, it's fine. It's one of the hoarding shows. If one of those hoarding shows come by, I'll know which room to send them to. Hey, it's not that bad. Kidding, kidding. You ready? Sure, let's -a go. Let's -a go. <laughs> Here's a sweet smell. There is a sweet smell and soft ambient music coming from the room next to mine. I wonder who lives here. I knock lightly on the door. No response. Come on, give it a little force. But look, we don't have all day. You can blame me if they get pissed. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I take a deep breath and give the door a louder knock. H hello I really like this character, honestly. Like, sh I think she's super cute. A pretty blonde girl peeks out from behind the door. What is this, a sanctuary house for intensely attractive people? If so, what am I doing here? The <laughs> I'm beginning to feel somewhat insecure about my appearance, to say the least. Oh my gosh, I'm so... Wait, no, no, no. I can't give her that voice because... That's like Isabella's voice. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Was I disturbing you? Pfft, my grand's music. Oh my gosh, why does he have an accent? My grand's, mu my grand's music is louder than that, no offense. My name is Max, just moved in today. This is here's Anne. Nice to meet you. Oh, you must be the new neighbors. I was wondering if anyone was living in those empty rooms. No, they just rent them out to no one. I'm Sally. I just moved in past this past Friday. It's so nice to meet you. Um, thank you. Is that incense? No, it's marijuana. Oh, this is just for meditation purposes. The energy here is so hectic that I feel like it needs to be something tranquil to balance it out. Energy? Energy. Energy! You know, things like aura, aura, I can't say that word, so I'm not saying it, sorry. The spiritual forces connecting everything in this world. Why if, 
there's something too much of a kind of energy then wreckage get in here sally winces everything ripples outwards from here i'm going to keep meditating you're welcome to join me if you like no no thank you um maybe some other time sitting in a smoke-filled room with a complete stranger even one that seems perfectly nice is still far outside my comfort zone okay i'll see you at dinner she waves tearfully before shutting the door. Ah! <laughs> Max shrugs at the, as the door closes. He looks towards the yelling noise and shrug again. He gestures for me to take the lead. A few steps later, I turn my head. He's nowhere to be seen. Hmm. Well, I've come to, I've come close. I've come too close now. I can hear them loudly talking ahead. It sounds like this will be interesting. I walk further down the hall, following the sound of Al Isabella's rage. The door to see what I can only assume is her room is half open. I go to see what the commotion's about. Isabella is glaring at a young man who's acting like he's made some very regrettable decisions. Ah, Rakish. <laughs> I hope the two of them don't fight. I barely even here an hour. I'd hate to find out I made a terrible mistake with my living arrangements. Maybe it's not too late to get reassigned. I mean they're all really hot. Why would I why would I want to live here? Uh yeah, another good looker though. He he looks as though he came straight off the cover of a romance novel. Fabio. His name is Fabio no. I can't believe you painted all over my dance floor. Or he's an exotic dancer, and this house is secretly a strip club. What have I gotten myself into? I am sorry. Do you not like the colors? It has nothing to do with the colors. I can't exercise with all the fresh paint on here. But it looks more vibrant, yes? No. Da, da, da. Well, maybe a little, but I'm still mad because you could have asked before you went off and used my things in your art project. You wouldn't want me to take all of your paintbrushes and tape them together and make a dance pole, would you? The guy thinks for a moment, then shakes his head. I would not mind if you did that. <laughs> and there's the problem. There's such a thing as a private proper... What is this all about? Rakesh math with my exercise paw. My, my stripper paw. So, I see. And... You're the RA, don't you, why don't you talk to him about it? I love to. Oh, I love to, Isabel, but I'm afraid I'm over-regulating things here. Would make me too much of an iron-fisted dictator. Serious, I... I'm always serious. How else would I crush rebellions? Ugh, whatever. I'm going to take a shower. Don't let karma hit you on the way out. He spots me out of the corner of his eye. Oh, Anne. I'm sorry about earlier. I shouldn't have left halfway through orientation. Did you find your way around? Okay. Oh, definitely. Please don't worry about it. Uh, let me know if you need any help unpacking. I'd like to make it up to you somehow. No, you are not coming and seeing what we brought. Like, we brought my my whole entire room, basically. And, and probably, like, my sister's room or brother's room or whoever. Um, I don't, but do you know where I can donate some things? I've brought way too much of course i know there are some clothes and book swaps on campus just have a look for when, where you are blah, 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 blah. <sighs> dominic spends the next hour looking up dates locations and directions for various swap events along with the directions to the nearest thrift stores in town i've never had a guy go out of his way so his way for me though i'm sure he's just doing his job as an ra or oh, he wants our panties um but <sighs> Sorry, I was interrupted very rudely, actually, but, um, trying to, okay, for some reason, control P is to, like, skip ahead in this game instead of pausing, so, that that's cool, anyway, uh, as I walk out of Dominic's room with a stack of helpful papers in my arms, I see a pole painting boy come out of the Isabella's room, covered in considerably more paint smearage than before. Did he spend all that time cleaning up? Um, hi. Hold on, I gotta fix my mic. I don't, there we go. At least I was louder this time, if not by much. He turns to me and presses his hands together into what I can only assume is a respectful gesture. 
Namaste. You are new, yes? Yes, my name's Anne. I am Rakish. It is good to meet you, Anne. Thank you. Do you always... I have no idea how to phrase it tactfully. Rakish, Rakish tilts his head. Great roommates have been done? No, no, no. I do not pin other people's belongings. Most of the time. Most of the time? I mean, I have enough belongings you could probably paint. Um, have you ever heard an idea so strong it takes over your thoughts? When I am inspired like that, everything is a canvas. I see. I see I may have invested in a lock for my door. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to tactfully ask Rakesh to leave my things alone when my stomach growls. I try not to let it show, but suddenly I'm very, un- I'm very aware of the smell of food that's coming from the kitchen. Ah, oh, it is time for dinner. Who's cooking? Usually it is me, but to- today it's Sally's turn. He doesn't look particularly happy about it. Is she a bad chef? No, very good. She is just, she does not cook with any meat or milk products. Not even butter. Vegan. Yes, vegan. Back home, there was no such thing as vegan, let alone vegetarian, meat, potatoes, convenience store food, maybe some Chinese takeout if we wanted to be particularly fancy. wonder what a vegan meal looks like. I walk back downstairs and into the kitchen. Sally looks up from her frying pan and gives a cheerful wave. It looks as though she's cooking some kind of patty. Hello again. Dinner will be ready in just a few minutes. Okay. Uh, what are you making? Oh, nothing too fancy. I know that most people here are omnivores, so I'm making some good old-fashioned burgers and hot dogs. Burger, Burgers and hot dogs? But I wouldn't those have veggie burgers and soy dogs. Oh. They look and taste just like the real thing. You won't be able to tell the difference. She flashes me a smile so bright that I could possibly doubt her sincerity. I assume I'll take your word for it. Um, is there anything I can do to help? Oh no, I'm all covered here. You just have a seat and don't worry about a thing. Okay. I'm gonna worry. I go over to the common room dining table and take a seat. Over the couch, Dominic seems to be giving Rakesh a half-hearted lecture on property rights. Rakesh smiles and nods, but I get the feeling he's not it's not going to stick. I don't see Max yet, but I do hear what sounds like an electric car- guitar riff up- from upstairs. Crash. What was... Wait, what was that? Hey, is dinner ready yet? Isabella comes down the stairs, fresh from the shower. Isabella comes down... Oops. By which I mean she's wearing nothing but a towel. You, get dressed before coming down here. Oh god, that was... Dominic's voice is just crap. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. (laughs) Oh, is little Dominic getting all hot and bothered? At least the guys upstairs appreciate the view. She looks over to me. And this girl tell, aren't you one I bumped into earlier? Oh god, her voice just went... Uh, everyone's voices are just horrible. I'm sorry. I, um... Oh god, why am I blushing? Enough. Isabella, put some clothes on. Nick it. Uh... It's a towel. I'm breaking neither house rules nor public decency laws. Face it, honey. It, in a war of escalation, I always win. We'll see about the dinner served. Sally bustles out, carrying so many platters, I wonder if she hasn't fallen over. Burgers and hot dogs here, buns here, sweet potato fries here, and condiments over here. Enjoy. Woo-wee, I'm starved. Oh, wait. <laughs> I thought it was a guy's voice. Or, I thought it was a girl's voice. Oh gosh. Max comes and starts limping a little bit. Um, are you okay, Max? Oh yeah, I'm fine. I just dropped my guitar. No biggie. He winks at Isabella. Maybe I shouldn't ask. We all dig in. <sighs> the texture is interesting. But once you get past that, the taste is okay. Not something that would go f- out of my way to eat. But okay. Ooh, sorry. I'm going to order pizza. I reluctantly agree. You big babies, you barely had a bite each. Oh yeah, if you'd like it so much, then how come your plate's nothing but fries? 
I'll have some later. I'm just bracing myself. Rakish pushes his plate aside. Thank you for the meal I am full. I didn't. I don't think this is that bad. No, no, they're right. I must have gotten a good brand. I must not have gotten a good brand. I'll just have to do better next time. She claps her hands. Dominic, make that three pizzas, one with no cheese, and it will be my treat this time. And so it came to pass that my first meal on campus was delivery. Almost everyone in this house is incredibly lively, even Sally, despite her whole meditation thing. And even in the midst of all these strong personalities, I don't feel uncomfortable. Maybe this will work out for the best. And then... Never mind. I thought the intro was done. For, oh, <laughs> for as long as I can remember, I have this reoccurring dream where I hit an alarm clock over my head. What? <laughs> I hit an alarm clock over and over again until it stops. Yeah, over my head. The strangest thing about it is it's always happening just before I have to get up. I bolt up right and look at my to my left. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. 1028. I have two minutes to get to class. I flit around my room in a frenzy. Socks. Where are my socks? Where's my book bag? But where are my notebooks? Are they under the yarn? Oh wait. No. I put them in the bed because they weren't enough space. Ugh. I finally find everything I need and put a nice jacket and race downstairs. I've never done well without breakfast, but I can't afford to waste time on toast. Should I really get it? I spot someone standing stock still in front of me in the common room wall. Is that Rakish? I suppose you must not have any morning class. Rakish normally sleepy gaze has sharpened, laser like, onto some point on the wall. It, it's a little intimidating. I haven't seen anyone with such a pre-natural pre focus since my uncle's last hunting trip. Um, are you... Shh. He frowns. And look at the wall and tell me what is missing. It's a blank wall. Decoration. Life. There is no movement, no beauty, play of color, not even the copper, but alone a spider and only dark darkness. Not darkness. It begs me to hatch its potential, but how? I'm sure this is all very fascinating, but I need to go. I start for the door. Wait. I have it. And we must find the hacksaw. We will carve loveliness into this bed and tundra. Uh, yeah, no, I have to go. So, like, are you suggesting breaking down the wall? Rakesh pauses and this gives then gives a decisive nod. Yes. It is the only way. Oh my god, this is what he meant when he mentioned getting taken over by inspiration. I didn't think it was this bad. I am so silly in it. And I shouldn't have missed my first class, but what if he really goes through with it? Eh, go in the class. Bye, Rakesh. I really don't want to make a bad impression with my English professor on the first day, and even if Rakesh did find a hacksaw, I doubt he would go through with it. Or I hope he wouldn't go through with it. No, 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 don't overthink. Sorry, I can't help you. I flee before Rakesh rubs me into his crazy scheme, and I think I saw him as one of the more reasonable people around here. Finally, lunchtime. The syllabi were straightfor straightforward enough. Luckily, the homework assignments won't be nearly as frequent as in high school, and they only make up a small portion of our grade compared to the exams and final papers. College allows for a lot more free time than high school, all in all. Unfortunately, my scholarships aren't going to cover much more than school, books, and board. If I want anything other than a crazy... <laughs> other, If I want to be anything other than a crazy hermit, I think it is in my best effort or best interest to find a job. I think I'll check my, my options after I get something to eat. I decided to grab a, a bite at the cafe on campus. I didn't pay for a meal plan, so there's no point in going to the cafeteria when the cafe's food's probably better. Hey, welcome to Linguina Franca. Oh, and this is interesting. If it wasn't this cutie I bumped into earlier, we do have a habit of running into each other, huh? Cutie. You're adorable. I could have had a lot of fun corrupting you. I'm just kidding. You're so fun to tease, Anne, right? Uh, yeah. You look hungry. How would you like a meatball sub? That sounded weird. That sounds good, I guess. Uh, alright then. One meatball sub coming right up. Thanks. Uh, how much? Anne, Anne, Anne. What kind of housemate would I be with? Oh my gosh. What kind of housemate would I be without making you pay for... With making you pay for lunch on your first day of school. 
You can have it gratis. Gratis. Just don't tell my manager, okay? Thanks. Isabella winks at me and goes back behind the counter to assemble my sandwich. She's much nicer than first impressions led me to believe. I wouldn't mind working here with her. Hey, go on. Oh. <laughs> That's exactly the noise she makes. Eh, meatball sub is wrapped perfectly. And I suppose she's been working here for a while. Eh, excuse me. Hmm. Do you would you happen to know where I could be able to find a place to work? Work. There are all kind of jobs available on campus. Heck, I started at the cafeteria my freshman year. I mean, it's one of the worst jobs on campus. High pressure, fast paced, and the people are crazy. The only good thing about it is even a monkey could do it. Most of the jobs are open to freshmen. Are like that though. If you want to get in on something worth your while, you need to show your skills, and they won't, or they won't even look at you twice. For instance, this shop, you think that all you need to do is look at a uniform, but people come in in crazy orders all the time. You need to be spontaneous enough to adapt to the customers, like if you want a marinara sauce on their meatball sub, and we don't have it. Fast talk them into selling for ketchup, that kind of thing. I think most of the jobs on campus and in town get posted online. You can look them up. You can look up qualifications, too. All right. How do I get qualifications? Because I have no skills. My life right now. Uh, well, you want it fast and dirty or slow and steady. Um, both. But I'd, I'd like to know my options, I guess. Girl, what are you getting yourself into? Okay. Now you'll probably be spending most of your time during the day at classes learning. And since how to be a better short order chef hasn't been a class at the school since was a technical college, uh, you're going to have to look into things to do. Just working a job is going to make you better at working, that sort of thing. Working at the bookstore will get you more organized. For Okay, so this is just giving you kind of a rundown of how to get, oh, yeah, how to get, yeah. So this is like a tutorial of how to get like qualifications, which is basically that, I'll show you when we get to the screen. Um, don't worry about it. Come back anytime, little Anne. I'm happy to show you the ropes. This is the screen I was going to show you. So, um, I guess we'll do the last. Oh, I'm sorry. That was gross. <laughs> um, so basically on, we only have three days this week. So for Friday, we can just roll around in bed, or which will give us five energy, or we can go to class, which gives us three grades uh, and negative five energy but you have time to make up like take a nap here or you can work at these three places at the art store bookstore data entry um, or you could study uh, I'm a nerd and I do that sometimes um, but so stats <laughs> these are the stats to get your get your boo thing so you have to have a re oops, you have to have a relationship of a hundred with one of them, uh, and then it requires that you have these like little icons down here with the peace signs and stuff. You have to have reached the number below that icon to get the good ending. Um, as it says below, the requirements above are to unlock the spring break romance scenes. The requirements for the ending romances are different, so check back after spring break. There might be other prerequisites for some characters, but you must discover them. So basically, say we were doing max, and the 150 art and the 100 piece, that can increase after spring break. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, oops. But... Yeah, I think I'm actually going to leave it off here because this video is getting a little long. But if you enjoyed, please leave a like. I'm sorry that I constantly apologize for my crap voices, but uh, what can you do? I haven't. This is my first video in like a long time. So there's that. Uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you uh, also enjoyed, subscribe. Uh, leave a comment and some feedback. Give I Just give me some feedback. Give, I, I don't know. Just, just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Ah, uh, but anyway, uh, see you guys in the next one and part two of roommates. Bye, guys.